let us see how you can trigger an automations flow with Google Sheet. So in the very first step, I'm opening up a Google Sheet. Let me name it as test. Let me enter a few columns. Now click on extensions, click on app script. Click on Untitled Project and enter a name. Select all for the existing text that you see here and delete it. Now from this video description, copy and paste this content. Here we have to change two fields. First is the monitored column and second is the automation webhook URL. From where will we get the automation webhook URL? For that, go to automations builder, click on workflow and create a new workflow. Let us name it. Click on plus sign, click on webhook, custom webhook and enter a name. You'll get your webhook URL from here. Click on this so that it gets copied. Now paste it inside the inverted commas. Remember not to delete them. Now what is the monitored column? Say for example your sheet has three columns and you want to trigger the data of this row to be sent to the automations builder when the column C changes. So column C is basically column number 3. So the monitored column here would be 3. After this click on save. Let us enter some dummy data. So this number to send WhatsApp messages should be with the country code without any plus sign. Now I have entered data in two columns. Now what I'll do is I'll go to the option of triggers in the app script. Click on add trigger. Choose which function to run should be on edit. Select event type should be on edit and click on save. Now you need to select your Gmail email ID. Now you are basically the owner of the app. So you need to click on advanced and click on go to the app script name so you are basically allowing the app script to be able to access data from your own google sheet and send it to the webhook url once you have entered this click on editor now click on capture incoming webhook and let us test it now I have updated the column number 3 and let me see if I have received some data in the automations filter. So you can see I have received the column first, second as well as third for this particular row because this column C has got changed. Click on save. Now you can create your own integrations. You can add time delays, you can send WhatsApp messages and a lot of other implementations or integrations as well so this is how you can trigger an automations flow from google sheet based on a particular column change thank you